Now let's learn about the shaping process. Take a piece of gouged cane and a knife. Center the knife on the underside of the bark. As best you can, don't measure. Put two thumbs and fold the cane over the edge of the knife. Be careful not to press too hard so that you actually cut the cane. Some people choose to score the outside of the cane on an easel and then fold. I don't like to do this because it breaks the bark. Next you need to fold it and as you see mine was not perfect. I'm not worried about it. If it doesn't fit the shape or tip I'll show you how to adjust it. Come to the folded area and angle the sides in. You'll need these to fit in between the ears of the shaper tip. Usually that distance is about seven millimeters. Try to get it symmetrical so that your shape ends up in the center of the gouge. Pick up your shaper tip with the handle and how to install that is described in your printed material. Be sure when it is installed that the straight edge of the shaper tip lines up with the straight edge of the handle so that the jaws equally grab it. Press the fold down to the shaper tip. Some people prefer to leave it several millimeters away from the end. I put it directly on it. Fold one end down and in this case it won't fit so here's where I have to loosen my shaper tip and extend it and put it. That's because I didn't get exactly in the center. Next fold down hold tight, move the jaws up, I put them full distance, and clamp down. I slowly clamp as you can see, and then when I get to where I feel a resistance, I tighten down. You must tighten enough that you do not slip in the cane when you're shaping. Some jaws come quite a bit lower than others. It's personal opinion whether you feel that's an important aspect of your shaper tip handle. Go ahead and make choices according to your decision. Next, I will open my razor blade. And I take the back end of the handle and firmly place it into my belly. Then I choose to squeeze very hard at the tip here. And I'm not squeezing the normal way you would think like that because as I shape I'm going to chop off my fingers. So it's a little awkward. You have to squeeze out here in an odd position. But it's, it's the squeezing is important to put the cane flat on the arc of the shaper tip. So you're going to press firmly. You're going to angle and I'll show you from a side edge the angle I'm using. When I shape I never scoop. Never come in and scoop. Don't go up into the curl of the ears, scoop around and follow. It, it draws the cane away from the shaper tip and gives you a different result. So choose your angle, stay there and jab in and pull. You notice when I hold the razor blade I hold a tip here and middle finger and thumb on the other edge. So there's a tunnel there. See the tunnel? That's so the split of cane goes through the tunnel instead of through my finger. Okay? So here we go. You're going to see me jab. I'm jabbed into my belly, holding strongly. I'm pinching tightly. And now I'm going to jab. And there the piece of cane went through. Then I clean up a little and do it a few times. Now you notice here I left a bunch of ear hanging out of, of cane. I don't care because we're going to remove the ears later. Flip your shaper tip over. I also, watch, flip the razor blade. Now I'm hitting a different location for this side. Jab in, pull. See the piece of cane? And then clean up. This should give you, I'll try to show you a close-up, a very straight edge against the metal. You do not ever want to bevel where you're doing one side and then the other side. That'll give a very different shape result. So keep them both sides at once, parallel, no curling, and you should have a lovely 
shaped piece of cake.